Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman for Ask Adapt. Today's questions have to do with stalling on a keto or low carb diet. I'm afraid you're not going to like some of the things I say today if you're expecting magic in a keto diet um, or magic of not having to worry about everything you've been taught, although I say that a lot. The bottom line for most of these questions is the calories matter. The amount you eat matters. If you're not calculating, you're just doing the eyeball of what you're eating and drinking, then you have to be really careful about the oil, the cream, the cheese, the mayonnaise. These are high fat, high calorie items that do not fit in well when you're trying to lose weight. That's why the low fat diet in the past for some people worked because they restricted the fat enough to start burning their own body fat. They restricted the calories enough. So let's go to the questions um, about stalling on low carb. Larry asks, is it common for the body to stall for one to three weeks, even though eating strict keto and is the body regrouping from the prior weight loss? Well, this is a complicated question. I mean, assuming that you're, uh, you're in a fat burning state, meaning you're doing keto, you're, uh, you don't have to measure ketones, but you can with blood, urine, or breath. But let's say the, you're, there's no, no hunger, you've been losing weight, and you're at a stall. The first thing is to define what a stall is. A stall or a plateau is not the lack of weight loss in one day or two days. Actually, the body will adjust and try to hold on to the energy that you have in response to the energy loss. Uh, this has been demonstrated in many studies, although the reduction in metabolic rate, your, your ability of, for your body to change its me metabolism speed, its idle speed, only goes so far, and it goes less of a reduction on a low-carb, high-fat diet. So uh, you have to always keep in mind that your body will make adjustments. The other thing, uh, so a stall or a plateau is not until you've not lost weight for about a month. We usually let people just reassure them in our clinic, don't worry, just keep doing it. The body's making an adjustment and then it will, uh, the weight will come down in a stair step pattern, not in a linear pattern. Um, so uh, we don't really know exactly why this happens, but that's what we see clinically. And I don't know that it, I would say it's common. But, so that was a kind of a big question. <laughs> Christy asked, if we find ourselves strolling, what is the best way to jumpstart? So remember, if you're losing pounds or inches off your body, sometimes the body shape changes and that's, that's good. That's uh, if you, the waistline's going down, but the scale is not changing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, so the main thing is just to wait out a stall. Now, there are things uh, that I want you to worry about or be concerned about, and that is, eating or drinking too many oils and fats. So in my view, I don't want you drinking calories at all. There's so many other things to drink that don't have calories, which includes the oils. Uh, so be very careful about cream and oils that you're drinking and eating. Um, how do you bounce back? Laura asks, how do you bounce back after a health setback? And that's interesting because again, that's a, a big question. It depends what kind of health setback. If you've been on antibiotics, then some of the antibiotics can actually slow the weight loss down. It turns out that's probably because of a change in bacteria in the gut. That's new research about that. If you've been on a medication that, that's like a steroid medicine, a nasal spray or, or oral medicine or even joint injections, that can slow things down. Um, Kara asks, is it harder to lose weight in the hot, humid summer months because people retain more fluid? And I would say that's what I observe definitely. And uh, it's going to be, uh, if you have a body composition analyzer, you'll be able to figure that out. Uh, Elaine asks, why do some people get to eat dairy and some people don't? She has certain problems when having milk and other dairy products. And that's one of those unanswered questions. Um, and if you are not sure if you're sensitive to dairy, try cutting it out for a week and see what happens. And that's going to be my common sense uh, answer to lots of questions. Do artificial sweeteners matter? Well, a lot of people can have artificial sweeteners and do fine, but if you want to find out if you're sensitive to them, then cut them out for a week. Um, 
Is it always possible to break a stall? Can you even re reach your normal weight? Absolutely. That's where the discussion I have when people are in this for you know 200 pounds of weight loss, they're 100 pounds down. I have to start hitting the amount that people eat pretty hard. Uh, that's where intermittent fasting comes into play. That's where just eating once a day is fine, the social eating. Uh, and if you're really relying just on the food to make a weight loss change, it means you're not having any kind of activity, then that means the calories have to be even lower. So I will ask some people to put in their calories to an app or, or just calculate how much they're having and just go down from there. Hope that's helpful. This is Dr. Eric Westman for Ask Adapt.